my name's Ryan. I'm one of the bird keepers here at Melbourne Zoo, and we're currently standing outside of Zilli's exhibit. We're going to be using one of the new enrichment items that have been installed for her to give her a different option for feeding. So here we have a fruit salad. This is a little bit of what Zilli's daily intake would consist of. Today I'm just going to give her a couple of kiwis, some apples and tomatoes. Cassowaries in the wild, they will forage on the ground mostly and find fruit that has obviously fallen onto the forest floor. And when the cassowary eats those fruits, they have a very short gut. So the flesh of the fruit they can obviously digest, they get the nutrients out of it that they need, but the seed itself um, they don't actually destroy it. And of course this is really important for the rainforest because cassowaries will eat a fair bit of fruit throughout the day and they will travel a fair distance as well trying to find it. So generally the fruit that they eat, by the time they get to another part of the forest and they, they've passed it through their system and they drop it, it's a very long way from that parent tree. Cassowaries have been known as the rainforest gardeners, which is why they're incredibly important to the ecosystem, particularly in North Queensland and in most of the other rainforests where they're found in Papua New Guinea as well. The enrichment works with Zilli by spiking fruit onto a branch and then we winch that branch out to her habitat where she can feed on it above ground. A cassowary is roughly a metre and a half tall. They're a very large bird. They don't really have wings that you can see. They do have residual wings, but not like a large bird would have very large wings because of course they don't fly. They've got very, very strong, sturdy legs with large claws on the, or talons on the inside toe, which make for a really, really great defensive kick. Everything from basically their neck up to their head has no feathers. So their feathers are black, but from their neck upwards, they have two wattles. They are red, and then on the rear, they have a, a bit of red skin as well. And then from there, it turns into a kind of a, a blue color with a more of a teal top to the head. And they have a big structure on the, on the top of their head called a cask. Here in Australia, cassowaries live in the far north rainforest, and they're considered one of the most dangerous birds in the world. They're pretty much solitary, but obviously they will come together when they breed. There'll be male and female pair, and the male will actually do most of the rearing and looking after the eggs. So we keep Zilli by herself here at Melbourne Zoo because she is a solitary species. It's pretty natural for cassowaries in the wild to be alone. Female cassowaries do enjoy their space and it is quite dangerous to keep two cassowaries together in the zoo because again, they only come together during that specific time for breeding. Outside of that, they really do prefer their, their own space and habitat in which they forage. 